Okay, let's start this again. I think I'm live on both. This is crazy. So Facebook must have changed um, the viewing on personal pages because I had it horizontal like I've always had it on my phone over here and it's it would not allow me to um, it would not allow me to do that. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So anyways, what's up everyone? Is you're tuning in? Sorry over on my fan page here. Um, I had to hop off. I was like, what is going on? Um, let me know if you could see me okay. Let me know if you could hear me okay. Good, good afternoon, I should say. I was going to say good morning, you guys. Wow. Um, anyways, good afternoon. Uh, who do I have over here? What's up? I'm going to wave. I'm going to wave to a couple of you. What's up, guys? All right. So today we're talking about... Um, I'm talking to home-based business entrepreneurs. So if you're a home-based business entrepreneur and you're here, you're in the right place because we're going to be talking about the five ways to effortlessly uh, attract more prospects online. Who would like to know that? If you would, give me a high five. Give me a little emoji high five. Um, attracting people online is key. It's key because like I always preach and I've always been saying is that social media is changing the face of the way that we do business, everyone. And Valerie, looking and sounding great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. My name is Julie Burke. I'm the founder of Create Success with Julie.com. And soon, soon to be, my Brand Masters Academy um, will hopefully be rolled out in August. I have a couple hundred people on a wait list. Super excited about this, you guys. Um, if you want to get on the wait list, just put list in the comment section. But what I really do is I help. Um, Home-based entrepreneurs and network marketers, coaches, consultants, any home-based business entrepreneur, I help you to build your own online brand. I don't know why this is like getting all fuzzy. Sorry, I'm going to sit back. I help you build your um, online brand so you could stand out more, right? Because we live in a very noisy, noisy world. Sorry for my background here. You guys need to definitely change my office around. My gosh. Um, anyways, stay on task tool. This is what we call like squirrel, like I'm all over the place. Um, but if you're looking to build your, your brand and your business online, you are in the right place. That's what I do. So um, today we're talking about this because attraction marketing has been the number one way, like hands down building my own brand, has my own personal brand has been the number one way I've been able to generate four six-figure income streams, okay? I don't say this to brag. I say this because two years ago, I was sitting in a place of confusion. I was in network marketing for five years. Um, let me know if you guys can hear me okay, by the way. Can someone just say yes, I can hear you? Just let me know. Um, what's up, everyone? Donna, Corey, Allison, Natasha, how you guys doing? So for five years, I was in network marketing, and I felt that I wanted to, I'm sorry, actually, no, let me back up. It was three and a half years into my journey as a network marketer. Uh, I was having success. I was making multiple six figures a year. How, however, I still felt I wanted uh, more. I wanted to reach more people. I was tired of parties. I was tired of three-way calls after three-way calls after three-way calls and and like literally shoving candy in front of my kids' face so they would be quiet or like hiding in a closet so, you know, my prospect, uh, the prospect couldn't hear my kids. Like it was really, really freaking stressful. Has anyone ever been there? If you have, drop yes in the comment section and just let me know if you've been there because... It sucks, all right? Um, and I can flat out say that because I was doing a lot of that, like every day. I was doing three-way calls constantly and I was doing home parties and I, I wasn't home and I just, I didn't feel like I was truly running a home-based business, okay? So uh, two years ago, I got started in this online world. I just caught the vision of things are going to be changing, right? Like I already was using Facebook to build my business but I wanted to take it further. I wanted to develop um, an audience globally. I wanted to move away from my warm market. So I, that's when I started uh, my fan page, right? And 
many of you that follow me know that I always preach fan pages to those of you that are looking to move past your warm market, okay? Um, I always say if you're just starting out, go to where your lowest hanging fruit is, which is going to obviously be your personal audience, okay? And so what happened was I started diving into understanding how to build a personal brand and attraction marketing, what they call attraction marketing. And so from that, learning that, I don't know why I keep getting blurry over here, it's driving me nuts. From learning attraction marketing, I went on to develop multiple income streams because I sat and I said, oh my gosh, if my network marketing company closes its doors tomorrow, like I know a couple of the companies did in 2015, I believe, I believe it was, what happens to my multiple six-figure income? It goes away. So I started my own training company, okay? Now, I'm not going to go into all that, but I'm going to tell you, attraction marketing and attracting more people to you is super important. Last year, my company did not close, but I actually decided I was going to switch network marketing companies. And I walked away from a very large team, and I walked away from almost hitting millionaire in this company a millionaire, not a year, a millionaire, meaning I made a million dollars over uh, three years with them. But the, 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 or I'm sorry, four years with them. Um, the thing was that I realized it wasn't my home anymore. And I realized that I wanted to move. I wanted to move into somewhere else where I felt I could be the entrepreneur I want to be. And that I truly 100% had a duplication system that I knew confidently I can plug my team into online so we didn't have to do parties anymore and three-way calls and all this stuff, like running around with my chicken with, you know, a chicken with my head cut off. So what I teach my team and what my team teaches their teams is attraction marketing and to brand yourself, right? And then, of course, we have a system in the back end that we plug people into that can be duplicated. So because of me building a brand and doing attraction marketing, I was able to actually move people, um, attract people that wanted to join me. And I had to leave my old team behind, you guys, okay? So it wouldn't have been right if I would have taken my team with me. I had to start over. And I was able to build faster online because I built this brand, all right? So what I want to talk to you today about is the the top five ways to help you to be able to attract more prospects online does that sound good if that sounds good drop me a heart emoji in the comments and again um hello everybody what's up i don't know what's happening oh oh all my comments were stuck on my on my desktop and you guys i'm i apologize i'm simulcasting so it's I'm like reaching both. Um, anyways, you want to share this out to anybody um, that is looking to develop um, their own personal brand and to attract more prospects to them. So thanks for all the hearts. I appreciate it. But I just want to dive right into it. So number one, okay, you have to be interested, okay? I always say be more interested than interesting, okay? Understand that. Be more interested in your prospects then you want to be interesting, all right? Let them know that you care. Um, unfortunately, sometimes in this business, um, we can turn people off, right? We can turn people off because we want to vomit all over them about how excited we are about our opportunity and how excited we are about our results and our testimonials and yada, yada, yada. This person's making millions of dollars, right? Um, you don't want to throw up all of your prospects about your product, your service, your opportunity, because that is not fun. Like that is not interesting. So be genuinely interested. I have been built. I have actually been focusing more on building relationships, like genuine relationships, whether I'm on my personal page or I'm on my fan page. You have to be interested. It's not just about the, the end dollar amount. It's not about the commissions flowing into your bank account, okay? You have to be interested. 
truly in them because they will smell you like a mile away if they know that you you only care about getting them into your gig okay number two don't build out of desperation okay so when you adopt that kind of attitude you will come off as needy you will come off as clingy you will come off as desperate to your prospects and there is nothing that is more unattractive about feeling about being desperate okay there's a saying and it's he who cares the least holds the most power he who cares the least holds the most power and i also believe he who listens wins okay who that he that listens the most wins so listen to your prospects listen to what they're saying be interested build a relationship and don't build your business out of desperation like constantly pouncing on them and hounding them that clingy attitude and being needy is just very very unattractive and this is why you'll hear especially in network marketing this profession us talk about posture you know i came from a place of posture very very early on I had an amazing result with the product in my last company when I first got started. It was my very first network marketing company, and I didn't even know what network marketing was. I just freaking love the product. So I was like, uh, do you want it? You want it? Okay, no. Okay, great. You want it? Listen, you look at these pants. I lost four inches off my waist. You, okay, you don't want it? Cool. I'm going to go to the next person. Like, that's just how I treated it. I wasn't like, you know, I didn't have Mother Teresa syndrome where I was like, on a prospect like just dwelling on this prospect that they you know I had to get them in I had to get them in no I, I did not act that way I came from a place of posture I was like this is amazing either you know pounds are falling off me either you want it or you don't want it I have more energy I'm able to keep up with my kids right always speak benefits guys always speak benefits okay number three no hidden agendas we probably all know somebody in our life that um, has a hidden agenda, and every time they do something nice for you, they expect it reciprocated. Do you guys like know anybody in your life like that? Like, rate, give me like a high five emoji in the comment section because um, they're not doing the nice thing just because it's nice. They're doing it because they want something in return. I know people like that, and I'm sure you know people like that. All right. Hidden agendas make people highly unattractive. So when you just do something nice for someone else without expecting something, okay, that's when you become more attra attractive. Maybe it's, um, you know, giving valuable content. Maybe it is just doing a Facebook Live, giving valuable con content. Maybe it's just being there for somebody. Maybe it's there to just give them a helping ear. Maybe it's to give advice. You guys, it shows. If you have this hidden agenda, yeah, Valerie, it definitely shows. If you have a hidden agenda, um, they will know that too. It, it's kind of like they'll smell it a mile away, just like if you're interested, being interested in them or not. So if you're messaging someone and, and on, so over social media, you're connecting with them and you're like, you know, hey, uh, you know, what's up, Sue? It's been so long since we haven't, you know, we talked. It's been like what since high school, right? And you start this conversation with them, and you ask them how it's going, and then, um, you know, and then they reply, and then you ask this other question in the conversation, like, you know, hey, so I got this deal going on, or hey, so I'm aligned with these amazing products or this amazing company, and you're doing it in the same conversation. Um, bye bye. Bye bye. That's all I gotta say. Uh, it's it's just not a professional way. Most times, when you want to reconnect with somebody, truly reconnect with that person. Please do not bring up your product. Please do not bring up your opportunity right there at that point because it will come up very um, ungenuine. Okay, and that's not what you want to do. There, there's your hidden agenda, and then you're gonna be like, ah. Let me X Julie out of, let me just block Julie from, from Facebook. You guys don't want to be blocked, okay? Number four, confidence, okay? There are two people that might have the exact same script, and you guys, we should never go fully, like a script is framework, a script should not be say, said verbatim. I, I truly believe that. 
It's just there is a guide. Okay. I have tons of scripts out there that people I know love scripts, but it's just a framework. But two people might say the same thing. However, one person has no confidence, the other person has confidence, and so they will get two very different results. Does that make sense? If that makes sense, drop me a in the comment section, okay? So the successful person comes from a take it or leave it attitude. Just like I said from the very beginning, I was like, do you want it? Nope, okay, good. Do you want it? Awesome. Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to lose inches? Do you want more muscle tone? Do you want more energy? Do you want better gut health? Like I was like, yes or no, yes or no, right? I was having those conversations with them. But basically when I came down to the, the question of asking them, are you interested in learning more about X, Y, and Z? If they didn't want it, I was like, cool, right? Again, I had no attachment to the outcome. So um, that person, understand first of all, it's not about you, okay? It is not about you, it's about your prospect, all right? And so you might be sitting here and saying, okay, well, Julie, this is great because you've been successful in network marketing and you've learned this and you've built up your confidence. Listen, I get it. So if you're new to network marketing, okay, or new to your business, hold on, I'm gonna raise this up a second. Okay, if you're new to the profession, what you can do is read a book. And one of the books I read early on is a book by T. Harv Eker, and it's called The Millionaire Mind. If have any of you guys read T. Harv Eker, Try me a one in the comments. Let me know if you ever read The Millionaire Mind. And I actually went further in. I actually started watching trainings with him and all this other stuff. So he says that, um, people approach it the wrong way, okay? So I actually have a quote here. So successful people understand that it's be, do, have, okay? So it's be, do, have. And they say, I'm going to be confident. I'm going to go out there and be the way that a successful person would be. I'm going to think the way that a successful person would think that will then cause me to do the things and have the confidence that successful people do. And when I start doing those things, I'll have the results successful and confident people have. So in the very beginning, people always get hung up. Well, I haven't had a result yet. Well, I'm not a success story yet. But you know what? You still speak with confidence. If you have belief in the profession and you have you see all these other people around you, just like I did when I got started, I was reading all of the millionaire stories. I was like going to our company blog and I was like checking it out. And I had to build that belief. I didn't always believe in myself, but I had to obviously gain that confidence within myself, but I had the confidence in my company, my product. There's a difference there, okay? So I had to start working on the inner, not so much about the like outer, I knew that my company, the products were. Now with my new company, I'm like absolutely freaking bulletproof because not only are the products amazing and the opportunity is amazing, but I now know without a shadow of a doubt that when people get started on our team, they will have a 100% dialed in online duplication system because we built that, they built that for us and my team is winning, okay? So I I have all the confidence in the world, but I didn't know that in the beginning when I jumped ship and jumped over here. So you, you build your confidence within time, right? You build confidence in time, but figure out where you need that confidence, okay? Figure out where you need the confidence. Thank you, Melissa, for sharing. I love you, lady. All right, so I love that quote, and I wanted to just, I had it written down here, okay. Tip number five, my last and final tip, and then this girl's got to run to Starbucks. Okay, I haven't had my Starbucks yet, but all right, strengthen your skills. Strengthen your skills. You guys, if you strengthen your skills, it that equals confidence. So figure out in your business, okay, and I'm not going to go and tell you that you need to go and follow like 100 different people and try and figure out like multiple platforms at once. I understand what that is like. I have had scroll vision. I have been in constant overwhelm by doing that. What I'm talking about is like figure out what you need right now in your business with developing skills that will help you get stronger. 
If that's mindset, work on that to boost your confidence, okay? Is it belief in the compensation plan? Then go and study that. Is it learning how to brand yourself? Then go and learn branding, right? Is it that you want to figure out how to build on Instagram? Well, then go and focus on that. I don't know what that is for you. Right now in my business, I'm actually kind of, I'm actually, I spent this whole week um, kind of taking a step back and figuring out if I want to invest in something that I will be able to then turn around and use with my clients, which would be a methodology that would get my clients some serious results. But it's an investment on my end, and it's also not an investment in money. It's an investment in time. But I'm, I'm very attracted to it, okay? So figure out for you what is it your skill set. It, it might be like you're just new to the profession of network marketing or just getting started online. Maybe it's that you just want to like dive in and learn what attraction marketing is. If that is if that is the case for you, put AMF into the comment section and I will send you a link to an ebook that I actually learned from my mentor Bernie. He, I worked with him privately one on one for a year. He wrote attraction marketing formula. If you want AMF, just put it in the comments. I'll get it to you. But maybe it's that you want to learn how to build your fan page. I don't know what it is for you. You have to figure that out. And then go and focus on that one thing. One. You guys hear that? One. Right? Don't, please don't, don't, don't shut yourself to then because that's when nothing gets done. All right, guys. So there's the five. My top five. Be interested. Don't build out a desperation. No hidden agendas have confidence, build your confidence, and then strengthen your skill sets, okay? Um, and what was I just going to say? I'm sorry. If you're new to network marketing, that's what I wanted to say. If you're new to network marketing, maybe it is just reading a book um, to help you understand the profession of network marketing like I had to. And one of the books I read, I think it was by um, Mark Yarnell, the first year in network marketing, I believe. That was my like very first network marketing book. It was before I even knew who Eric Worre was because, again, I've been in network marketing for six years. It was before Eric Worre wrote uh, GoPro. But now if you're new um, to network marketing, I obviously recommend reading GoPro. But your first year in network marketing is a great book by Mark Yarnall, if you guys don't know who he is. Um, he was like the grandfather of network marketing as well. So um, definitely uh, check that out. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Drop it in the comments below. Um, if you have any other topics you'd like me to uh, teach on, train on, let me know. And as always, you guys, have an awesome day. Go and out and freaking crush your business. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys all next week. I'm trying to, I'm going to be doing these on Tuesdays. Um, they will be more like a timeout with Julie, like longer training um, that uh, I'm going to do instead of the, the micro trainings throughout the week. So just kind of a heads up there. All right. Every Tuesday, I'm trying to do them around noon. I had a client today, so I came out a little late, but um, I'll send out reminders every single week. Okay. Um, if you're not on my email list, you want to get on my email list, go to createsuccesswithjulie.com, drop your email in. I have like a million resources there. Grab them all. They're all free. Um, they're under the product section. So go over there and check that out. And I look forward to seeing you on the next training. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.